Are you self-aware? Almost all professionals instantly reply yes to this question. The unfortunate truth, however, is that most often this is a false assumption, since we all have blind spots preventing us from truly understanding ourselves. There are several reasons why it's challenging to understand ourselves and our valuable assets. Our conscious mind can only handle a certain amount of information, limiting our self-awareness. You may find yourself forgetting important tasks or details that you thought you had taken care of, unable to prioritize your workload effectively due to too much information in your conscious mind. Cognitive biases cause us to favor evidence that supports our beliefs and ignore evidence that contradicts them. You may, for example, be more likely to hire someone who shares your interests or background rather than looking for the best candidate based on qualifications and experience. Social pressures make us focus only on assets that others find acceptable and prestigious. You may avoid taking on projects that don't align with your perceived image or hesitate to speak up in meetings for fear of not appearing confident or knowledgeable enough. Negative self-talk can also lead to a false view of yourself. You may be overly critical of yourself, leading to imposter syndrome, underestimating your abilities, which will lead to missed opportunities. Or the higher you climb in your career, the more you can become stuck in your old behaviors and beliefs. You may resist feedback or ideas that challenge your leadership style or approach, or be hesitant to delegate tasks or responsibilities to others because you believe that only you can do them correctly. As you can see, it is complicated. And on top, as we are so caught up in our busy lives, we rarely take the time to work on ourselves and fail to reflect on who we are, what we have to offer, and how others may perceive those things. If you don't want to make that mistake, I recommend you grab a copy of my latest book today.